So what kind of a mess do I have going on here? Well, I was in the process of uh, upgrading my Analex CNC, my 3020 here, to a uh, 65 millimeter. This is actually a trim router, not an official spindle, there's a difference. But this has an ER11 collet with, uh, it'll handle quarter inch and eighth inch bits. However, this runs on 120 volts, whereas the stock spindle runs on 24 volts DC. So I need to do a little conversion so being a retired electrician, this is right up my alley. So as I was going into this, I thought, well, maybe I should show some of this. So let me get you around here. I'll get you in and I'll show you what this uh, all involves and how I did it. So what are we looking at here? Well, I've got this propped up so that the uh, camera can see in there a little bit better. So what we have is what's called an SSR, which is a solid state relay. So this is right here. And the input to the bottom is the 24 volts DC. And I have a couple of output wires here going to the cover for this. This is a six by six by four PVC uh, electrical box with uh, two fans mounted in it. And I'm using a little quick connector here so that if I ever need to be in there, I can just disconnect this and by uh, flipping these couple little levers on here. This little thing actually came with the uh, CNC. So then I've got on the side, I have a couple little grates and they are the same as here. They're just 3D printed uh, grills. You get this off Thingiverse if you have a 3D printer. And I have my uh, neutrals connected and my grounds connected. The output here at the top. This line in, 120 volts, AC. This will be out to the uh, router motor. And what I've also done was wired in the connector connection for the power supply, which is going to Velcro to the top right here. I'm just going to put it on with Velcro. That way everything will be right here and all in one place and compact and ready to go. So that's all there is to that on the electrical side. Of course, I'll need to spin this around and uh, change the mounting and everything for, and remove the spindle. Okay, looking at the other side, Analux has a kit right here. Comes with all the hardware and everything you need to mount a 65 millimeter diameter either spindle or trim router. And this is a trim router from Carbide Create, not sponsored by anybody here. So it's just a matter of uh, removing the hardware from the original one here. And I can just slip the wires right out of that. And of course I'll retain that. Okay, that takes all the old one off. Now, this needs to be put on here first. This is a spacer block. And there's recessed uh, holes there for the socket head cap screws. Let's come with an alien wrench. So I'm using my these six shorter screws here. Of course, then you want to go back and torque them all down good and tight. You don't want anything coming loose here. Well then next would be the uh, actual mount. Well we're set and ready for a test. Okay, this is what I guess they call the smoke test. So I've got my computer hooked up here. And I need to get on the right COM port, get connected. Need to unlock it. So there we go there. Make sure I still should have all my movements as I had them before. Take the Z up. Yep. Move the X. Good there. Good on the Y. So for spindle speed, because this is a uh, 120 volt and operating through the relay, it really needs to have 
enough voltage to be able to close the, the contact. So I'm going to leave this at full speed, uh, which will give it a full 24 volts. And what I'm going to do first here, I have the switch on this off, and I have this set to the lowest speed. So I want to make sure my fans come on for cooling the... Uh, and they do. Them are kind of noisy little things. Chip here then. But both my fans are running. I can see them spinning in there. So now I'm going to turn them back off. I'm going to turn the switch on on the uh, router here. As I said, I have this set to the lowest speed because that's where I'll run it. That's 10,000 RPM. I don't need it to run any faster than that for what I'm going to be doing. And we'll hit start, see how. And there we go. And I can turn it right back off, so everything's working there. Yes, but does it actually work? Well, we're going to find out here. I got everything zeroed out here. I'm going to set my Z probe. And just a simple little heart here, we're going to take off and uh, send this. So there it is. Yes, it works. So yes, as you can see, it works and this will uh, work out for, I'm actually going to be doing some aluminum on here is why I wanted to upgrade to this bigger one. And uh, I'll put a link in the description on this uh, 3020 CNC. This is a nice well-built machine here. It's got linear rails on it and it, it's just it's one of them things where you don't have problems with and if a machine works and has no problems then that's going to be one of my favorites. Uh, this, again this isn't sponsored I'm doing all this stuff on my own here for a project that uh, I have coming up to uh, be milling on some aluminum plate. So if you got anything out of this appreciate getting a thumbs up always helps the channel. Roger in the shop thanks for watching see you in the next one.